Hey guys, so the other day my wife and I sat down to play some Borderlands 2 local co-op and we were rudely reminded that Borderlands 2 on PC does not support local co-op. A uh, quick Google search did show that some people had gotten it to work by running multiple instances and connecting them over LAN and although that did work it was kind of uh, raw and not a very smooth process but it did have a lot of potential so I did go ahead and I wrote a batch file that does all the hard stuff for you and just makes it a lot smoother of a process it detects the screen's resolution and uh, divides it up put this puts the windows where they need to be so it just it looks a whole lot better it's easier to use and um, yeah I think it's I think it's really great. So uh, here it is on the top. It says if your game was purchased through Steam, ensure that Steam's running before proceeding. Otherwise, it's just going to error and it won't work. So make sure Steam's going if that's where you purchased it. And then just go ahead and enter the number of players. So we're just going to do two. And then just make sure your controller's plugged in, all that good stuff, and grab your player one controller. Hit enter again. Now the first instance of Borderlands 2 is loading up. So basically we want to make sure that the player one controller is connected to the player one window and only the player one window. Okay. You can get it so it's like um, so you have one controller controlling both windows and of course that's not what we want. Okay. Go. Let's alt tab back over to our launcher. Now grab our player two controller and wait for it. Okay, so now I'm using a player two controller to skip through all this stuff. Okay, here we go. Okay, so as you can see, the um, the two controllers are moving the menu options separately from each other, so uh, they connect correctly, so that's good. And then the next thing we want to do is uh, figure out the audio options. So here on this one, I have the music volume set to zero, and then the dialogue volume set to zero. Otherwise, you can have some stuff overlapping between the two screens, and it does not sound nice. I mean, if you have the music playing on both of them, that's uh, a good way to get a headache really fast. Uh, and then the other thing you want to do is mute audio on focus loss. So that means um, basically, if you have this turned off, then you'll get you'll get audio from both screens. Otherwise, you're only going to have audio coming from one screen, and then the guy without audio isn't going to have as good of a time. So do that, and that's good for that one. And then go to this guy, audio, and so this one I left the music volume up and the dialogue volume up, but then I still did turn off the mute audio on focus loss. Okay, and that should be good, so let's go ahead and do network options, go to LAN, network options, and LAN, and then uh, as you can see the uh, second player, so the bottom of the screen, uh, he's level five, so I want my, uh, I want the top screen to join the second one. Oh, wrong one. Okay, so I want the top screen guy to find the game, and there it is, level five. So I go ahead and join that. And there you go. You can see him there on the second screen. So unfortunately, everybody's name is Quithafa, but oh well, that's all right. Okay, perfect. And then we'll go ahead and start the game. Show you a little bit of gameplay here. At this point, it pretty much, um, I mean, it works really well. Pretty much works uh, just like it would um, over the internet. So you can see this guy's working well. 
This guy works as well. So it's, it's pretty awesome. I, uh, I like it a lot. I was really happy with um, how well it works. Um, especially once you kind of get into the game and stuff, and then it's a pretty pretty smooth ride, really. Um, the one thing to keep in mind is you are running multiple instances of the same game. So if you're running four instances of Borderlands 2 at 1440p, um, of course the games aren't going to be all running at 1440p, but um, that can still be pretty taxing on a computer. So um, if your computer isn't you know, super, super awesome, that might cause it to not perform as well. So just uh, just keep that in mind. You might have to lower some settings and stuff. Um, but, uh, but other than that, it's a pretty good time. So I will leave the, um, the link to the file uh, in the description below. So you can grab that, and really all you need to do with it is just um, put it in the folder <coughs> with the executable file in it. So the Borderlands 2 executable file. So just go to Steam, um, browse local files, <coughs> and uh, put the um, put that bat file in that folder, and then run that bat file anytime that you want to uh, play like this. And of course, you can make a shortcut uh, like I did, and uh, and and that works that works really well. And then you can even connect that shortcut to your Steam account so you can access it through Steam. Uh, then everything's really smooth. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and quit out of this, so. Okay, there we go, and you can see that uh, Explorer started up again, so the taskbar came back, everything's back uh, the way it was, and uh, working well. Um, let's see, so if you guys run into any problems at all, uh, certainly uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, give me a like, uh, subscribe if you'd like, I'm hoping that I can do this with uh, several more games, so that'll uh, certainly keep you updated. Um, I hope this uh, kind of revived an older game for you. Uh, this is one of my favorite games from um, several years ago, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun uh, playing this on the couch with a bunch of my friends, and I hope it is for you guys too. So, thanks for watching, take care.